Today we're going to show you how to enter a listing into the Central Texas MLS. First things first, you go to matrix.ctxmls.com and from there you enter your user ID, which should be your license number starting with a zero. Mine obviously is just my name and then the password field and then log in. When you first open up, you'll see a message of the day. Please make sure you read these messages as they do have important information regarding both the Central Texas MLS as well as information from various boards. You can click read later or I've read this. You'll notice this screen looks identical to what you have in the actress MLS. So we're going to go up to input, input, and then under listings, we're going to add a new listing. And this is a residential input, so residential input form. On the left, you see all of the counties. Please make sure you select the correct county or else realists won't be able to pull in data from tax records. As you notice, both street number and street name are two different fields. Please make sure you utilize that when you're searching realist. Click fill. Then you'll notice a lot of information is pre-populated. Go and add street type, as well as notice anything in the yellow fields are required. Please make sure those are completed. And then go through and follow the fields in city lot limits and ETJ. For latitude longitude, you click the get latitude longitude from address and the Central Texas MLS will automatically pre-populate everything. As you notice with the schools, since Leander ISD was pulled in from Realist, it'll go ahead and only show you Leander ISD elementary, middle, and high school options. Under listing info, just enter listing price, property type, etc. Go down the field, you should have all this information from your client. If you notice, if you hover over the question mark, It'll give you a description of what goes in that field. And literally this is very identical. If you click the calendar button next to the date, it'll pre-pull up a calendar and you can just click and go. You can click the calendar or like I did here, you can just type it straight in. So again, if you don't know what it means, click the question mark. Owner LREA, are you the listing real estate agent and the owner? Please make sure that field is completed, as well as the owner legal name. That does not pre-populate from Realist, nor does the phone num number. And then we're just going to fill in the rest of the fields. Short sale, foreclosure, is it available for rent? Notice the additional MLS fields are not required, but if you have it listed as both a lease and a sell, Please make sure you, you reference those two together. RES flooded. That, that means has the residents ever flooded? As well as builder name. Make sure if you know the builder, you enter that info in there. Otherwise, leave it blank because it is not a required field. And excuse my inability to type. And then source square footage. Where did you get your square footage that is it in there from? Obviously, since it was pre-populated, you got it from the appraisal district realist. You'll have a tendency to want to click the submit listing on the bottom, go up to the top, and then click on rooms for the next thing, the next screen.